So here we have a 2016 uh, Mercedes Sprinter 3500. This has a six um, cylinder diesel engine. So what we're done here, we've done a full scan on the uh, vehicle. So if you're getting check engine light on, or if let's say you're getting something like um, uh, the remaining number of starts, you know, 10 or something of that nature, what you need to do is you need to scan the car, figure out what's wrong, fix it, and you can come back on the scan tool and clear those codes. But first you do need to start with the diagnostics. A lot of times people ask how can I just reset this uh, you know, five or 10 uh, starts remaining. And if there's no magic trick there, you just have to fix, figure out what's wrong. You can just reset that. Um, so in this case, we'll run a full scan. It goes through all the different control units. I mean, this uh, van has a lot. Um, so what you'll see here, and you can see the control unit, so the engine, this is the 642 engine, you can see two full codes, stored, stored. So stored codes, you can usually just clear them, and a lot of times that will reset that counter, but there's no guarantee, because you, you might reset it, and then you drive half an hour, and then it comes right back on. So you do have to see what's uh, causing that. You can hit a report at the bottom, and then you scroll down here you can actually have a report of all the present stored and current full codes uh, so if it was me working on this I would probably just save the re this report and then um, what I would do is I'll um, then go back in here and erase all the codes so what this does is go through all of them and try to erase what can be erased generally speaking if the codes are saying stored or history it will clear but if it's saying, let's say, um, if it's saying current or active, it's not going to clear, right? So, and then you can email this, you can save this on a device, you can print it, whatever you want to do. But you can also, the next step would be to select the control unit, in this case, the motor electronic, um, and then you can enter it and dive deeper. So you're here, you can read the codes and look at live data, for example, uh, from exhaust system and output you can hit all actual values and then you can see values here anything that um, you need inputs and outputs so these values do change um, their life so they will update if you start the car they'll change output can signals inputs let's look at input sensors you can see RPM, and rail pressure, and PSI, boost pressure, a lot of things uh, here. Temperature, oil temperature, oil level, okay. Um, pressure differential uh, at the uh, filter valve or diesel particular filter, at DPF. You can see here, all right. Uh, so that's how you can uh, kind of dive deeper if your Mercedes is showing no starts uh, then you need to figure out what's wrong fix it and then come and clear those codes that's well a lot of times that's how you would typically get rid of that remaining starts or you know no more starts possible in 200 miles or, or messages along those lines now just to keep in mind the modules that you would focus and you want to look at would be the motor electronics would be one of them. Uh, if you go uh, selective catalytic reduction, that's another one that you want to read the codes and look at live data. In this case, there's no, but you can see a uh, fill level of add blue tank, so you can check that. Okay, it shows you that right there. Uh, add blue heating element, this does go bad. Uh, often you can see how much current is being right now it's not drawing any current because the car will start it doesn't need to heat up the add blue but if you first turn on the ignition then this should show some um, some drawing some current so it shouldn't be zero it should be something higher than that up to seven amps add blue me metering so a lot of you who have issues with the add blue or showing you put add blue and you still get um, that add blue warning light you can look at some of the data here and see what's going on what the car is actually seeing so it could be an issue with the sensor or you know something else so this is good for troubleshooting as well uh, let me go back 
uh, direct select lever, there's the transmission shifting. Uh, those would be basically the main ones you would focus on if you were having issues with you know, the remaining stars. Transmission goes into, st gets stuck in limp mode second gear, which is pretty common um, when you have issues with the DPF as well. So uh, check those, and then you do have a number of under maintenance. You have. Um, AdBlue service, DPF service, you can force DPF regen, and we're going to have that in a different video. But thank you for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.